Hello, everybody. That's Welcome to episode 41. I think it's 41. 41. I can it's me. Right Not Nathan. It's me. Nathan. It's okay, also that episode bit 41. That bit could have gone, gone either way. And yeah, no, you I know what? You chose truth. Yeah. Chose the truth. Uh, today we are joined by our um, our friend, a gaming cohort, uh, a an friend, absolute a gamer, legend, a gamer, if you will. Um, Ash. Hello, that's me. <laughs> I am also uh, Nathan. Oh shit! Oh damn! Wait. Uh, let's see. <laughs> That's how this works. Uh, yeah, it sounds way worse. Uh, introduce yourself, friend. What's what's going on, bud? Uh, well, currently I've been unemployed for like twelve months. That's about it. Damn, oh, it fuck. has almost been a year, hasn't it? Yeah, I've just been slowly devolving into just like a kind of congealed black sludge in my desk chair. That's yeah, cool. That. That's, that's my life. Hell yeah. You want a job at Target? We're hiring. Uh, I probably shouldn't. I should wait until, you know, we get vaccinated because I don't want to mm. kill my grandpa. Mm. Yeah, me either. I don't want to kill your grandpa. Jenny just got vaccinated. Did that happen last episode? I don't remember. Um, I don't know. I've at least heard you talk about this at some point. Could have been on the yeah. podcast. I don't know. No, it wasn't. We, it was when we were gaming last weekend, mm, I think. Gaming. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I do I do some music stuff back when the world was normal. Mm -hmm. Back when we still had music. Yeah, back when music music <laughs> still existed. Uh, yeah, rip. Well, that's how you know Nathan, and then yeah. through po proxy me. Yes, accurate. Yeah, give a. Yeah. We like to whenever we have someone on, we like to give the little spiel about how they actually know us until we have guests that we don't know. Well, I mean, Nathan and I have like a kind of an interesting uh, background together. Because yeah, you guys, you guys fucked. That's <laughs> not the lore, but <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be the lore if we had Devin on, and I was talking mm. about Devin and my lore. Nice. Uh, you know. Um, I know and Devin. Course, when I say that Devin and I fucked, I just mean in our D and D campaign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it was yeah, you, yeah. But uh, you could spin that though, you know. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I uh, you know Nathan. Nathan knows Landon and Kevin and all of those yeah. chaps because of Frank and Joe. Uh, and I uh, kind of met Nathan through Ragtag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, and then I uh, kind of by happenstance ended up playing in a D and D campaign with a lot of the people from that group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we did that for like four mm -hmm. years. Yeah. yeah, we we started yeah. that D and D group when the whole ragtag group was living together, and then, and then afterwards yeah. we started playing it at Riley's place, and then you joined. Because and then, like, uh, that's friends with Riley. Yeah, and then we just played, um, we played D and D for like three hundred years, and then uh, seeing other people got canceled. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yep, and that's about it. Yeah, yeah, rip and piss, ragtag romantic. Rip and piss. Rip and piss. That's like what is they that, say is in that Doom. Like the alternate Doom theme. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dude, I thought there was a, a Doom Demon skin for Fall Guys. Doom? Oh, no. <laughs> Is that real? That's not, that's real? Yeah, I swear to God, I saw someone. I Damn. saw someone with it. In a I, I never I got the played. Godzilla skin. I want the Godzilla I skin. Know. Well, um, Doom skin. What, are we, what are we? What are we feeling? Oh, like? well, there's a pressing. There's a pressing mat. I thought it was. There's a pressing matter we need to talk about. A pressing matter. Which is, um, what is everyone's opinion on Muncher? 
Muncher? Yeah, Muncher, dude. What the fuck is Muncher? <laughs> <laughs> Look up Muncher on Twitter. You're gonna lose your shit. Oh man, this is gonna be stupid, isn't it? No, it's well, maybe. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll post Muncher in the Whenever chat. I hear something is on Twitter, I just assume it's, it's gonna be some dumb bull. Oh, yo! Yeah! <laughs> Ghostbusters Afterlife reveals Muncher! Muncher yes! Reveals. <laughs> <laughs> <So funny>. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> I love Muncher. It's the new yeah. Slimer. He looks like... <laughs> It looks like the cross between a tardigrade and uh you guys remember that um that like model of a dude they made that was like if humans evolved to be able to survive car wrecks do you know what i'm talking about i think i know I th here i'll find a pic of that man yeah you can yeah survive car crash <laughs> but you I get how he's just lounging there so this was the first post that I found on my search for Muncher. Uh-oh. <laughs> Yo. Got Muncher ah, as, a, as a flying stormtrooper. This is, yeah. uh, that's such a tiny picture. Car crash, oh man. God. Car crash, Car man. Car crash, man. Just I like how him. his solution to uh, surviving whiplash is just to have no neck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Can't get whiplash if you don't have a neck. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, can your dad get whiplash since his neck is like fused? Yeah. I feel like she says yes. <laughs> I feel like I feel that's, like that's the activate neurons meme. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh my god his brain is tiny uh, yeah I yeah I, the I brain find is, be inoffensive you don't need a big brain to survive a uh car crash so yeah jenny what do you think about muncher Ooh. doesn't he kind of look like a target yeah <laughs> muncher i don't think it though I don't know. I think he just munches. Is this for a Ghostbusters video game? What is this? No, I think it's a re. No, it's is the it? new Ghostbusters. Are there's they a, doing another reboot. Yeah, there's another <laughs> new Ghostbusters, which will probably not acknowledge anything from the last one because everyone <laughs> hated so it. I have only watched Daisies? the first Ghostbusters movie. Yeah. The Daisies. There's there there first really is Daisies. only one Ghostbusters movie. Daisies. For cats. What are you looking up over there? Okay, well, so a couple of weeks ago, Jenny wanted to bring home some flowers. <laughs> and um, uh, there are a lot of flowers that are deadly poisonous to kitties. Mm. And we've talked about it sometimes, but she forgot that lilies are very poisonous for kitties. So she mm. brings them home. And I'm just like, we can't have those in the house. <laughs> Get that filth out of here. It was really sad because, like, I love having flowers, but, like, literally just, like, getting pollen from a daisy on a cat is, like, enough for their kidneys to shut down. Mm. Jesus. Damn. That's wild. Um, not all daisies are safe for cats. Uh, um... Toxicity, toxic to cats. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> daisies are good, but I don't think they're they're deadly. But um, uh, you you should look it up too. I'm in the middle of podcasting. You know, I can't like have an <laughs> intersection of my life and my podcast even though i literally always do every episode this is the uh what flowers are poisonous <laughs> to cats segment of the podcast a lot there's so many things like uh avocados are like deadly poisonous to dogs and cats and humans are like the only thing currently alive that can digest them what the fuck they used to be they they used to be 
but they're a very ancient plant and they used to be around like i don't know if it was dinosaurs but at least like ancient mammals or something and that's why the pit is so big because they used to eat like the whole fruit mm. and then the pit would pass through their digestive system to uh get uh start the cycle anew mm. huh. yeah. mm. avocado Sir, you know there's people that consider avocado a vegetable <laughs> What, because it's green? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then, is a honeydew melon a vegetable? <laughs> is, is the fucking... the green gusher uh, a vegetable? The green gusher? <laughs> is the green goblin? <laughs> is the green goblin a vegetable? <laughs> I'm gonna... uh, Ash, who's your favorite Spider-Man villain? Ooh, my favorite Spider-Man villain? Yeah. Ooh. Don't say stilt man. Uh... <laughs> Wait, is that there? Is he Daredevil? I have to go. Well, I think I'm gonna have to go with Big Wheel. Big Wheel. Oh, that's Big a meme wheel. one. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, Big I mean, it's like a super meme one, but like, I don't know. There's just something about it. I, either that, or specifically Kingpin from Into the Spider Verse, because I just really love how they made him just like a brick wall. He's so wild. Oh yeah, I love that design. Um, As a big Kingpin fan, it was really good. Well, it's really funny because I, like, not too long before that, like, the Daredevil Netflix show was, like, really big and Kingpin was, like, the main oh, villain for that. Yeah. So then to see another version, like, a couple years later, or no, I mean, it was, like, only a year after. It was, like, it was like Kingpin Christmas. Yeah, you can do a lot with Kingpin. And remember in the original Ben Affleck Daredevil movie, which sucks? Uh, King Kingpin was played by um, what's his name? Uh, the big black dude from Green Mile. I don't uh, know. <laughs> uh, oh, I forget. He has a really epic name. Uh, it's not Ving Ving Rames. No. Uh, I don't. I don't remember who it is. It's like James Earl Jones, but not James Earl. Jones. Yeah, it was James Earl Jones. <laughs> Uh, Michael Clark Duncan. Yes, Michael Clark Duncan. Uh, one of Got those it. three name guys. Yeah. Um, do I have to pick a favorite Spider-Man villain? <sighs> oh, <man. Damn. laughs> ne Spider-Man, the Dark Spider-Man. <laughs> Wait, dude, yeah, they're yeah. black suits. Jenny Spider-Man. said that. I always do this thing on the podcast too, where Jenny will say something funny in the background, and then I'll just repeat it, and then I'll get a laugh out of Nathan. <laughs> He'll never know that I'm not funny. Half the content of the podcast comes from Jenny. <laughs> I think true. Michael Clark Duncan plays one of the rhinos in Kung Fu Panda. Dude, that makes sense. That'd be sick. I think he might be like the the prison guard rhino with like the nose grill. That makes sense, and that's fucking sick. Do you think there's really <laughs> cool Kung Fu Panda OCs? Oh, yeah. Dude, those movies were big. In a big way. Um, Let's look for some. Kung Fu Panda OC. Kung Fu Panda OC. Kung Fu Panda OC Maker? Whoa. Yeah, damn, look at all these cool... Whoa, there's a freaking dragon? Yo. <laughs> I would oh, yeah. love to join a fucking pro boards of this back in the day and role play as my own little kung fu panda. I like, I like this image. Oh, my file. It's too powerful. Never mind. My file. There's a wolf. Were there wolves in Kong? Yeah, there were wolves. Um. Were there? I don't think there were. No, there definitely were. There must were have been at least a wolf. I mean, there were, there were some wolves that were just like some mooks for someone, I think. I love the the term mook. Mook. It really, it really sounds like what it is. Look at all these OCs. I'm posting that... some OCs. Yeah. Oh yeah, there are definitely wolves. How do and I then we enter the Sonic portion of the uh, <laughs> podcast. How do I look at that? Yeah, I can I can see that being like the banner of the the pro boards forum. Oh, that's fucking sick, dude. Oh, Bunch man. of badasses. 
Like they got like the girl version of the old rat guy or whatever. What species <laughs> is this guy? guy? He's like um. What is oh, that guy supposed to be? <laughs> he's um. You mean Dustin Hoffman? Yeah, is Dustin that Dustin Hoff Hoffman? Yeah. What is Damn. he? What does it say? Master fuckhead? Yeah, master fucker. <laughs> master uh, Shifu animal. Master what Shifu animal. Yeah, what, what the is fuck he? is Shifu? He's a red panda. I he's a you. red yeah. panda. Yeah, dude. Damn. He looks more like a rodent, but I guess red pandas are kind of oh. like the rodents of pandas. <laughs> it's because his nose is like exaggerated. Yeah. If he had like a squishy face. So it turns yeah. out Master panda Shifu life. was also the Kung Fu Panda the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Wait, oh, this is good. This is good. I like this image. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. No. That's fucking cursed. A, a raggedy uh, ass Shifu toy. I don't I don't even know what to call this. It's like a okay. stuffed Are animal. You, wait, wait, wait. I, Googled, I Googled Master Shifu Animal. <laughs> this, this image is just in among <laughs> all the Master Shifu images. <laughs> <laughs> it's Master <laughs> Shifu! It's just wow. a dog! <laughs> this is, yeah. Wait, is that a three legged dog? Maybe, um, I only see three legs. I feel Master like I. Master Shifu, what did they do to you? <laughs> Master <laughs> Shifu! No! The tiger got him. <laughs> The alternate timeline where his where where Poe like ate his arm. Mm, Poe got too hungry. No, Shifu was like feeding him a bowl of noodles. Oh uh, yeah. Like, bringing him a bowl of noodles, and Poe was just like overwhelmed with eating, and so he just like starts like slurping the noodles out of the bowl while it's still in Master Shifu's hand, and he just fucking bites his hand off. He's Skidoo. like, oh, Master, how do I do a Jack Black? Needly <laughs> <laughs> near. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Near, near. <laughs> What's Jablin? No. Jables? Jablinskis? I haven't heard much about Jablinski games for a while. Yeah. It popped off cooking. for a week and then everybody was like, okay. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> Everyone was like, Jack Black wearing the Sans Undertale shirt. Wow. Wow. He knows video games. Well, yeah, he's a gaming channel. It's his job. Oh, hell yeah. I got a good picture here. What you got? Wait, he's a real you? Master Shifu animal. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Nathan, where does that rate on your hatred of cl uh, tight-fit clothing on sexy people critters? Uh, this doesn't have quite as egregious of of fucking like highly defined anatomy as those other pictures from the last Can episode. You post those again for Ash. But like, uh, <laughs> but like, it's pretty bad, and I don't like the paw right over her vagina. Yeah, I don't like that. That's either. weird. I don't like it. <laughs> um, Disgusting. Here, I'll get this picture for for <laughs> for Ash. <laughs> Uh, which which one should I do? I feel like this is the most All of them. Did you save them? <laughs> no, I didn't save them. I just went back to the conversation. Do you have a folder on your desktop of like all the sexy artwork you hate? No, I do not. I don't. <laughs> yeah. We were talking about these last episode. There's some Danny Phantom. Uh, I I mean, it's basically porn images. <laughs> going around on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And I was talking well, about... Was because they were recommended for you or something. Okay. Yeah, that was so... for me. Yeah, break it down, Ash, please. You want, you want me to break this down? Yeah, break it, yeah, down. Break it down. Yeah, break okay. it. I find this Danny Phantom image less offensive than this panda image. <laughs> I agree. And, and the reason for me it is, yeah. is... Okay, so as much as I... Um, uh, disapprove of the stereotypical cartoon porn like mega boob thing. <laughs> mega boob. Uh, 
like if we look at the like like the Danny Phantom image has like actual what looks like physics to the boobs that are realistic. Mm. Yeah, like, they're kind of dragging down. She's got her arms folded, so they're like resting on it, so it makes sense. Whereas mm -hmm. like the panda image is literally like two fucking balloons taped to her <laughs> chest, and yeah. whatever that fucking outfit is is not supporting them. So if she was actually wearing that, they would just be popping out and fucking rip roaring, flying everywhere. Whoa! Right? Well, that that'd be cool. So, <laughs> um, also pandas probably have more than uh, two nipples, so it probably yeah, has more than two accurate. breasts. <laughs> well, I wasn't necessarily gonna analyze uh, <laughs> oh we go deep <laughs> but uh yeah i don't know <laughs> so for me that's like the sin in that in that picture is that like yeah they just don't have a good grasp of how anatomy and physics work mm -hmm. i will say these danny phantom pictures are you know artistically you know pretty good you know they got shading uh, proper anatomy I just, I just have a specific um, um, uh, 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 thing about like being able to perfectly see like the contours of someone's body through the clothes that disturbs me. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that? That's interesting. I don't know. It's weird. I've I don't tried like it. Back it before. <laughs> I don't like it. Is yeah. it, it? I don't know. It looks like uncomfortable. I I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's like I don't a... want like my jeans flying up my penis hole. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's has... the noise it makes when your jeans fly up your penis hole. <laughs> As someone who uh, wore jeans that flew up his penis hole in high school. Um, no, I did too. I can confirm that it is not very comfortable. It's not. Yeah, I used to wear black skinny jeans like all the time in high school. Whoa, Jack Black surrounded by so many Kung Fu Pandas. <laughs> Wait, what was the Kung Fu Panda where he met all the other Kung Fu Pandas? That was Kung Fu Panda 3. Kung Fu Panda 3. I think it was 2. I can't remember. They're all good movies. Whoa, like. this is a badass picture. I'm not even joking. This fucking is sick. <laughs> I hope so. Oh. You Oops. should put that in your uh you should put that in your <laughs> uh cool. your D D campaign setting. Here. True. Here. He should be one of the gods. Over. Yeah. I'm one of the gods. Yeah, remember when Nathan was gonna start a really cool campaign <laughs> yeah. for us? Yeah, I remember <laughs> that. I don't know. I, you know, I, I got it already, and then I was like, I do not have time for this. No, I, I can't. You know, I, I, uh, D and D online just kind of sucks. Yeah, <laughs> it's well, yeah. weird and Bye. yeah. Not I feel the like same. the only way. The only way it would be really great is if you had everybody had really nice cameras and microphones mm. and then everybody like had also played a lot together in person and so you already had like a group dynamic figured out because like... <laughs> jesus <Christ. laughs> what is that <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, what we got here is a pregnant woman next to Jack it's Black. It's Angelina Jolie. A That's Angelina. I can't so tell who that is. It's a profile. She image. was in Kung Fu Panda. I she never, never heard of that Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> we got pregnant Angelina Jolie next to Jack Black, who's pretending also to be pregnant. pregnant. <laughs> yeah, because he's such a fat piece of shit. And then we've got fucking Poe, the panda, IRL, like, I don't know, he, he, he's like smiling, looking at these pregnant fellas. Oh, here's another shot. Oh, that's, shit. That's pretty wild. We got two angles on this moment? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, they love Poe. Poe, more like... Uh, bow. Yeah. It All you did was changed. change the first letter. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Are you okay? What happened? That was a, that was a loud noise. 
I don't know. Jenny, are you okay? Yeah, she's fine. I mean, she's she's moving around our living room. <laughs> while I'm trying to podcast. Wow. Moving around while we're podcasting? Come on. Okay, so um Yeah, what you got? Are you guys are you guys familiar with, with Warhammer at all? Mm, not uh, really. Somewhat. I know the memes. I know I know I know my difference between a, 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 a an Eldar and a Necron, if you know what I'm okay, saying. Okay. Cool, cool. So um I don't <laughs> <laughs> I, I used to play a fair amount of, of Warhammer 40k back in the day, and then and then I you know didn't have money, so I stopped. Um, but I recently joined a fantasy football league, which Whoa. is really wild because I hate sports in all their forms. <laughs> but I'm really bored because of the pandemic, mm -hmm. so I said yes. Um, but it's not a normal fantasy football league. It's it's actually a Blood Bowl league, which if you're familiar with with Warhammer, um, so Warhammer 40k is the like science fiction future one, but just plain old Warhammer is like the uh, parody, the like Mortal Kombat level parody of uh, of you know like Tolkien. Mm. Okay. So everything's just like super stupid and exaggerated and ridiculous. Um, anyway, so Blood Bowl is the, uh, the, like, incredibly hyper-violence rugby game in Warhammer Fantasy. Uh. So I'm uh, effectively playing, um, for this, like, fantasy rugby league where it's just orcs killing elves. <laughs> That's kind of cool. tossing a ball around. Um... <laughs> <laughs> that is terrible looking. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had cursed Shifu, and now we have cursed Po. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm I'm currently going between two. I have to put my team together, and I'm, I'm currently going between doing a team of orcs, uh, called Cachondo Trasgo, which is Spanish for horny goblin. Oh hell yeah! That's, that's or a team a team of lizard men. Oh, called like re lizard reptile man. dysfunction. Mm. Whoa. Um, and so I, I'm I'm not sure which which I should go for, but I'm pretty excited. It's, you should it's, you it's should really combine them so they're half lizard orcs. Oh, I, I I can't do that. That's against the league rules. Did Fuck you just league. suggest going <laughs> against the league rules, Gary? <laughs> Yo, it's like that one football movie with Jim from The Office and George Clooney when football is, like, evolving and George Clooney can't do his wacky antics anymore because football is becoming a legitimate sport. But then in the final game, he does it anyways and he wins. Everyone's like, what? Oh, I, I that? forgot that I movie exists. I know what is that movie? <laughs> I've seen it. it. It's called like, like rough skins or something. Leather heads. Yeah, leather heads. I think that's it. Yeah, something like that. I'm just gonna yeah. Google George Clooney football. You can't punch people in football anymore. Leather. What? Yeah, it's leather heads. But I want to punch people in football. I know football looked way better back then. Like, look at this. Yeah, they just like it was like it was like hockey. They just like beat the shit out of each other. That sounds like Blood Bowl. Yeah. Well, I guess it was rugby. But I think in the like final scene, like the the field's like really muddy or something, and he like switches places with someone else to get like a playthrough, and everyone's like, "What?" That's pretty good. With Renee Zellweger. Oh man, I feel I feel like we should we should get a. I feel like we we've we still haven't found like the the topic, like the the nugget, the sweet. Nugget Have you? Or... Do you understand what this <laughs> is? <laughs> I know, but I feel like I want to like hit a stride on something. There's we gotta like drill right. into the core of. Of I mean, we got pretty close with Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu yeah. Panda. It got, it got pretty close. All right, drill. Come on, drill, drill. What am I drilling to, though? Let's see. Um, 
Uh, President Biden is pretty epic. Oh, I like this image. I found a good picture. <laughs> <laughs> I found a better picture. <laughs> oh, man. I, this is kind of old. Oh, Jesus Christ. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> the tortilla cat. Wait, oh, pancake? That's a pancake? You're so fucking stupid! I, they, they, they look the same! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Why would you put a tortilla on a cat's face? <laughs> a pancake is gonna stick because that's it's true. steamy and hot. I a tortilla can't. is cold. You're not gonna <laughs> warm up a fucking tortilla to put it on Whoa. a cat's face. Pancake. The pancake it definitely warm. makes more sense. Who doesn't warm up tortillas? Yeah, that's also true. <laughs> Actually, in the circumstance. sometimes I just eat plain tortillas. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. that's that's wild. Yeah, I'm like, I'll be hungry and like, I get like, well, I gotta, I gotta go. Uh, I'm eating a tortilla. <laughs> Ugh, I hate flour tortillas, dude. Flour tortillas are based in red pills. Yo, I'm all about corn tortillas jenny can confirm this Did like the fun... red pill <laughs> yeah get the fuck out of here yeah you're banned from worms out fuck that bullshit um, no more getting red get this pills incel that... trash out of my face <laughs> now that biden is president there's no more red pills. he's not in your face we're doing this through discord we're all in our separate homes <laughs> this is as close to in a face as you can be you now it's I wish i was in that cat pancake face cat Cat, because cat. you want to eat the cat or because you want to eat the pancake? Yeah. Ooh, I haven't had a pancake for a while. That pancake. Sounds good. Pancakes. Oh man. Pancakes. I, yep. I yeah, miss yeah. I miss Frank's diner. Dude. Yeah, Frank I, I love Frank's. Like I'm not gonna detest Frank's, but like I, eight times out of ten, I would rather just go to the satellite. The satellite is really based. It's just, it's the vibe at the satellite. Like, I could go to the satellite like three nights out of the week and then like have Sunday like breakfast at Frank Steiner, you know? Yeah. I, just I guess think... I. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. no please, please go ahead. Uh, I, I just think the I satellite tastes really good. I, I love the satellite. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I have you been uh, to Frank's though, Nathan? Uh, maybe like once. No. Oh. I yeah, the satellite. I like. I haven't. I don't think I've ever had anything at the satellite that was especially fantastic. Ooh, they got some good um, shit. Like it's it's better than going to like, you know, a fast food restaurant. Oh yeah, like Denny's. Like Denny's is like a two, and the satellite right. is a nine. <laughs> yeah, I'd say more like Denny's. Think, okay. Denny's is like a two, and Satellite is like a five or a six, and then wow, like, really? Frank's is like an eight or a nine. You know, I get that. I get that. Like, and maybe I'm just a little more like, I don't know. I like eating really nice food. <laughs> so. Yeah, but what do you get? Because when even when I go to Frank's, I get like. I mean, it's like the gutter breakfast food, but good because <laughs> like I'll get fried green tomatoes, which are fucking amazing but weird, and then I'll usually get chicken fried steak or or uh, chicken and waffles. I mean, I'm a I'm a dirty boy. Oh, sure but they got bread good? pudding. They always have bread pudding that, with like seasonal flavor, and mm, I'm a bread pudding fucking freak, dude. I really like the eggs Benedict. Yeah, that shit's really good. Um. I mean, just like a good old like pancake breakfast mm -hmm. with like the hash brown. God, their hash browns are just next level. Mm -hmm. It's been a long Did time since it. I had a hashed brown. Satellite hash browns are so good too, though. Oh. So satellite hash browns are so good. I usually, I usually <laughs> only choose to go to the satellite if I'm have played a show and it's the yeah. morning and I need food. Yeah. Yeah. I feel it. That's that's and the I, vibe. I, I yeah. But I and even I, like, even then I usually would go to Garage Land over satellite. Oh, oh duh, that hurts. That <laughs> fucking hurts. Oh man. I I've never eaten at Garage Land. I've hey, only been never, there. Like, never will. You'll never know. Yeah. Never. Rip. Uh, yeah, right. that, I've been there out like, of like three all, times. Dude, like all last winter when I was 
home alone because jenny was in antarctica like every other night like i would just walk to garage land and i'd get food drink a hot toddy and just sit by myself and read and write and it was such a peaceful time i mean i've been going there like a long time before but i just last year was very special and that was my favorite bar in spokane like hands down yeah that's kind of like what i do do at zola i go to zola that's such a different vibe whoa (laughs) well it depends because if you're going on like friday or saturday or yeah no it was cozy they 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 got crazy crazy. thoughts yeah but like monday monday through monday through wednesday and then like sunday is like pretty chill yeah. so and and i like know pretty much everybody that like plays there so it's usually like like i know i'm gonna have at least like four people there that i like kind of know who are like playing music that i know i'll like at least like a little bit yeah that's kind of that's what garage land was like out of like everyone i knew in in spokane they would either congregate at garage land or need a burrito so I'm so glad Nito Burrito is surviving, even though they have they haven't opened up all all the yeah. pandemic, but they got loans and stuff, and they're just like waiting for it to be over. But like, when is that gonna be? But they're not shut down, unlike Garage Land. <laughs> Dude, I the one that I've always been just worried about is um that I really want to survive is uh, Lucky You. Um, I could give, I like Lucky You, but honestly, I couldn't give a flying fuck if Lucky You went under. Because. (laughs) Damn. Okay. Because, um, they abandoned the Bartlett for that endeavor just so they could make more money from the 21 and older crowd when the Bartlett was one of Mm. the biggest all ages music spaces, which Spokane Mm. desperately did. And now with the pin going out of business, it's like, and Lucky You. Oh, the pin's going too? The pin is gone. They that was months ago. The pin's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I mean, I I support like all music venues, you know, in Spokane as long as they're not shitty people. But like, they're definitely monetary driven instead of community driven. As much as they say like, we're here for like the musicians and stuff. It's like, nah, you you kind of abandon all ages, so you're kind of a fucky in my book. Um. Um. Well, I don't know. It's it's the best venue to play in Spokane, in my opinion. So, which, I mean, like, as selfish as that is, that's kind of the only thing that I give a fuck about. Yeah. But <laughs> you're, you're, like, you're, it's a good, you're, it's a good yeah. stage. It's really good sound. Yeah. Um, no, like they have good really sound. Good crowd. You're, you're like, good you're a gig crowd. musician. I'm, yeah. I'm, we're, I think all three of us are kind of different musicians. I mean, you, as you're very moldable and you know you play in like whatever but i'm i you know i play solo and weird you know i mean like my favorite place to play in spokane would be like needle burrito and like yeah and nathan is the kind which of, i've literally like, never played yeah i did back in the day i haven't for years but like and then nathan's over at the fucking big dipper i would love to play at the big dipper i the love big the big dip. dipper dipper's pretty good yeah the big i pooper. um I think my my com- my complaint with the dip is always just the pay. Yeah, it is a little but pricier. It's just well, you know, and, it's like it's hard to make any money there. Out. Yeah, yeah, that that's, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah cuz so. it, it it attracts a crowd with with less less cash on hand. <laughs> Although I like the I don't know. I there's been a couple shows that I've really liked playing there like the when Marvin came through, that Marvin was... Gay? No, uh, Marvin, the like fusion band. Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, no idea. Um, yeah, there's so there's a uh, actually hell. Um, it's like these two. I think they're Israeli brothers. One of them plays saxophone. One of them plays guitar. Um, Damn. And they just play like really filthy like rock music. That's Okay, that sounds jazz cool. Jazz fusion. Um, Damn. Uh, let me see. Anyway, so we. Uh, but mm-hmm. Funky Uncle got to play play with them, and uh, like that was just a fun night. 
it's just yeah. like really good vibe really good crowd and like they're uh, they're fucking ridiculous like they're so good uh, sorry uh, they're sick. probably really good. Uh, uh, <laughs> here let me, uh, here we go there was something in there that there i go. wanted to pivot off of are you posting a link to it? Marvin. Yeah. Oh, heck, I don't have. I don't, I don't have fucking Spotify. What do you think I am? <laughs> Ooh, that does sound cool. I'm only gonna play a second of it though, because I don't know what will happen to the podcast. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> well, I don't think we're gonna be able to hear it. So. Yeah. Nah, you'll hear it when I play it. Leave in the comments <laughs> if you heard it. It sounded yeah. cool though. All right. Anyway, oh, homie, you say fuck Spotify. What are you doing, Keith? Did you, did you want to pivot off of some gigging thing or music uh, thing? No, I Venues? think so. uh, it was. It, I was entangled in there because that is good stuff to talk. I mean, we were Tangled. talking about it. Tangles, the Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> um, oh fuck! I don't know. I really, I really thought I had something that I'm like, oh, we could talk about this for a while. And Man, just Garrett's gone. really dropped the ball on the podcast here. Dude, is it music is... related? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, it's completely gone. It's completely gone. I don't know. Uh, uh, want to talk about uh, the big mommy milker vampire lady in the new Resident Evil? <laughs> What's up with that? Everybody's freaking out. Why? Is so, it, what, what's up? Okay, so they posted a picture of this vampire lady, and everybody started thirsting after her at the end, right? Uh-huh. Isn't that it? Yeah, that's kind of it. Yeah. Oh. But, she's <laughs> <I thought> you... <laughs> but then people realized after the initial picture was posted that actually the lady is also, like, giant. She's like a giant Whoa. pest. How do they know that? She's like ten feet tall. Well, I'm looking. At, you know, I'm looking at a video that? right here where she has to uh, bend over to get through a regular person's door. Show me the video right now. Here. Wait, what? I'm on. I'm Wait, on. she's like seven and a half feet tall. Yeah, she's super tall. That's uh, almost longer than my penis. So, so. <laughs> You know, pe people are people are enjoying that. They like they like big women. Wait, do you play as her? Or is she? Oh, no, she's Jesus! Tall. She is very tall. No, she kills you. <laughs> oh God. Mommy milky vampire lady. Oh, it's just fucking Lady Deathstrike. Oh yeah, kinda. <laughs> Except with big mommy milkers. Okay, I bet I can find I a know. picture of Lady Deathstrike with big <laughs> yeah, mommy That is true. Every comic book character basically has enormous boobs. Didn't they? They did a horrible version of Lady Deathstrike in one of the X Men movies, didn't they? Yeah, the they X2? did. X2? Is that an X2? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, he yeah, just shows up for a second. But. Uh, uh, but they. Uh, I, I feel like they didn't do her fucking. They made her claws look fucking stupid or something. I don't remember. And she didn't even have like her cool like samurai grieve outfit. Mm. R.I.P. Yeah. R.I.P. X Men. Lady Deathstrike, big. Oh, yeah. Monkey. The New Mutants finally came out. I was I was enjoying I every uh, update about the New Mutants for years. Because it's yeah, just like, sure. yeah, this movie's never coming out. <laughs> yeah. But now the bit's over. It, it actually came out for real. I want to see it. I'm interested uh, to see a uh, uh, portrayal of some of the characters, honestly. I mean, I feel like it's going to be trash. Yeah, but... I've heard it's very not good. <laughs> I mean, it can't be as bad as Suicide Squad. Probably no not. superhero movie can be as bad as Suicide Squad. <laughs> Suicide Squad is like... I, I was expecting it to be horrible, and then I saw it, and I was like, this is even worse than I thought. <laughs> Man, that's impressive. Uh, although it does yeah, have a really good scene where 
uh, uh, Killer Croc slides on his belly into the sewer. Whoa, I need a clip of that. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> this, this might be a weird, like, this might be a weird segue. Oh, yeah, I've, I mean, <laughs> I've been, I've been watching JoJo. Uh -huh. Yo, hell yeah. Um, and so I watched the first two parts of it a while, mm. like a long while back. And then I kind of, I, I watched like the first episode of part three and I was like, I don't know if I'm into this. Uh, and so I kind of stopped. And then I came back to it because I was like, okay, I should just watch this. It's quarantine. What am I doing anyway? So yeah. I'm, I'm making my way through part three and I'm almost done with it. And I got to the episodes. So I've had a couple of, of moments where I was like, did they just really do this? And the most recent one is the, the episodes with the baby there's a baby yeah i've okay, never watched so... jojo so okay okay so i read the manga a little back in the day but like i'm i've been i mean you know the you know the premise of like they have stands yeah 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 yeah. they I, beat yeah. each other up with the yeah, stands I, right yeah yeah so there's this episode where an enemy stand user like starts trying to kill them in their dreams Whoa. and and the the stand user is a baby Whoa. And they don't know that it's the baby, so they're like carrying this baby around with them. <laughs> and then they go to sleep and the baby tries to kill them in their dreams. And then they wake up and they forget all about it because it was in the dream. <laughs> and and so like there's all this inter-party co inter conflict because like one of the characters figures out that it's the baby because some he like cuts the he cuts the word baby stand into his arm while he's in the dream and like wow. if you get hurt in the dream then you it like hurts you in real life mm. so he sees baby stand written on his arm and he's like it's the fucking baby jesus christ baby um, stand. anyway baby stand. baby stand and and then he like tries to cut, convince everyone that the baby is bad and like Whoa. they don't believe him obviously and so like he that guy manages to like beat the baby in the dream and then they all wake up and the baby is still alive and they're all alive but everyone has forgotten about it except for the one guy Whoa. and he goes over to the baby this is the part where i was like what the actual fuck because i had low standards coming into this episode i was like right, jesus right. christ they're gonna beat the shit out of a baby <laughs> or like throw this baby out of the airplane that they're on or whatever like like i had remarkably low standards i was like this is gonna be horrible i mean you could also uh he goes over to the, baby. the case that that's high standards yeah okay fine <laughs> I had ex I had expectations of some sort, and my expectations were like superbly not fulfilled because he goes over to the baby and he's like, "I know you're a stand user. We're gonna drop you off in the next town, and you're never gonna come near us ever again because I have you clocked. And I'm and if you if you ever fuck with us ever again, I'm going to punish you like this." And he opens up the baby's diaper. And he scoops up a chunk of the baby's turd, and he mixes it into the baby's food, and then feeds the baby the food. Whoa! And I was like, "What the actual fuck I, is happening in this is show so right good. now?" That's fucking hilarious. What the fuck? It's absolutely wild. Like I, I, and I, like I said, I was going in there completely low standards. I was like, "They're gonna kill this fucking baby." And somehow they made it worse. No, it's an ego death. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I was talking to... And as you know, Devin is super into JoJo's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I messaged Devin and I was like, what the fuck is this? And he was like, wait, what? They do that? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, I think I have repressed memories of that show. Valid. So... Yeah, anyway. JoJo's you know Bizarre Adventure. Was... Yeah. Lives up to its name. They feed really a baby does. poop. Did you know there's an episode of Billy and Mandy that was clearly a JoJo reference before the meme of JoJo references was a thing? Really? Yeah. I mean, you can just <laughs> Google Billy and Mandy JoJo reference, but it's a really good episode. 
Man, they just put, I think, like, a bunch of old Cartoon Network cartoons on, like, HBO Max or something. And I'm like, oh, I kind of need to get it. I, I would love to watch Billy and Mandy again. Yeah, I mean, I'm always, I was surprised to find out how old JoJo was. Because, like, it seems like oh, yeah. people referencing it is kind of a recent thing. Like, it's become a meme in recent years. And I was like, oh, no, what? Didn't... This is an old as fuck show. Yeah, no, it was like the like the anime man's anime, you know, yeah, like back in the day. The anime anime. The wow. anime anime. It's like first just, you watch Sailor Moon, then you watch Shoujo. He just straight has a stand. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Lord Byron? <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, it's literally Lord Byron. It's <laughs> it's such a good episode. I haven't seen, I haven't watched it for so long. That's funny. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, I never watched very much Billy and Mandy. My parents were uh, uh, wary of the Cartoon Network uh, for some reason. Yeah, we've talked about that. Yeah. I think the only show that my parents didn't like me watching was uh, Dragon Ball Z. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that would have been didn't right Dragon Ball Z because it was boring. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I just remember, like, I can't remember what episode. I think, oh. I think they might have. I think the episode they saw that made them not like it was the one where, like, Frieza headbutts Krillin in the chest with his horns and then, like, <laughs> like flails around and like rips Krillin up <laughs> oh hey, your parents <laughs> just don't like seeing Krillin getting treated like that yeah I watched Thinking Man animes instead when I was young like Inuyasha and FLCL oh dude Fully Cooly is the shit dude it is the shit the only anime I watched was Cory in the house boom nice. got him classic anime <laughs> oh my god yeah, I, I really do how... love that meme <laughs> I do too but I really don't know how me and my sister got away with watching so much Adult Swim like I don't I like I watch so much shit on Adult Swim and I'm now like thinking back I'm like when the fuck did I ever cause like cause like our TV that had like cable was like downstairs and like to watch TV late at night like we had to get lucky, you know, but like for some reason, like I was always watching it. I don't know. I don't know. Like you're having a moment where you're like, how did I get away with watching Aqua Teen Hunger Force and Ash? Yeah. yeah. Was that? Oh even my god. He wasn't that old, was it? I knew yeah. that show was trash. It, it's pretty. I'm talking old. about Six it's Ounce Mouse, buddy. We talking about Six Ounce Mouse. The best show ever fucking made, dude. Okay. I don't okay. remember Six Ounce Did Mouse. you guys ever you watch... You love Six Ounce Mouse. <laughs> Did you guys ever watch... There was a pilot episode for a show on, on Adult Swim uh -huh. that um that never got made into a show, but holy fuck it should have been. It's what called it? Korgoth of Barbaria. Oh, yeah. Korgoth, Korgoth was fucking sick. I love that. I don't remember dude, I remember that when they aired the pilot on Adult Swim. I was so sad that that didn't get made into a series. Yeah, it was that really good. That shit was so fucking good. Yeah. There's a lot of, like, YouTube cartoons that have that same vibe now, though, for sure. Yeah. Like Starbarians. That sounds mm. familiar. That's, uh, that's the um, Happy that's Harry. A, that's a, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. that guy. The guy who posts once every two years. Yeah. <laughs> he gives me weird vibes, but I mean, that's kind of the style, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wait, it's not six. It's 12 ounce mouse. Why the fuck did I say six ounce? 12 ounce mouse. 12 ounce mouse. <laughs> Ash, did you ever watch 12 ounce mouse? <laughs> no. Oh did. my god. I have no idea what a 12 ounce Oh, I hate is. this animation. No, it's so good, dude. It's like. It just looks really... like hand banana. Yeah. Well, worse. The theme is so good. Uh... Peanut Cop. Peanut Cop. Peanut no, Cop. Is, is this an actual character in a 12 ounce mouse? 
Probably. Is this this guy Peanut Cop? He's just a blue peanut. With a hat. <laughs> That's a oh, blue yeah. peanut with a hat. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that guy. It's been a while since so I I fucking love, but dude, the theme song is so good. You have to listen to the theme song. <laughs> Oh my god. Out of my way, I'm drunk as hell. <laughs> this guitar riff sounds like something that someone would play on like a three string shovel guitar. Yo, that's that's my vibe, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, these explosions. Whoa. They really just made like a model city out of cardboard and then blew it the fuck up. Yeah. That's wild. Car full of bitches and a brand new bomb. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, uh, Nathan. Yo. Tell me about your Kenshi playthrough. How's it been going? Kenshi playthrough? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I got a bunch of bugs together and, you know, we're just all, you know, hanging out, being cool. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how much there is to say. I mean, I built a wall. I got some stuff popping, and uh, we're just hanging out pretty now. I might, I might yeah. actually even be done playing it because, like, I'm just kind of at a point where it's like, yeah, we we we're, we're established now. We got it on lock. <laughs> uh, you don't have to pay taxes or anything. No, I, I set up somewhere where they don't tax you or nothing. All I had to worry about was beak things and bandits, and now, like, I've got a setup where they can't get in, really, and we're all good. See, now you gotta, now you gotta start. Boring. <laughs> Kenshi is fucking awesome, Garrett. Shut the fuck no, up. No, I, 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 it's, it's, it's a cool game. Yeah. Um, but we could be talking about two more important things two the boobs on the vampire lady no no we already oh. talked about that um <laughs> we could talk about the fact that star underscore is back what is that star underscore. i don't know you what that means what star underscore store otherwise known as stir i have no idea what you're saying right now he was yeah. one of the first like majorly popular like edited let's player channels mostly uh, playing fortress 2 and then moving mm. on to um what's the fucking overwatch but Damn. he like he like dipped out of youtube for a while and was like on twitch and like doing stuff but That's he insane. uh he he made a video that he's he's back baby oh yeah doing whatever he doesn't really know what he's doing but yeah. he's he's back I imagine but. I imagine you're feeling the same way I felt when uh, Inside Gaming came back. Yeah. I watched I, Inside so Gaming forever, and then yeah. and then Machinima died. But right. then, somehow they got the rights back and started again. But then I was like, oh wait, I don't give a fuck about the gaming industry anymore. <laughs> and I never That's watched it. That's kind of how I feel about uh, this guy. But, I mean, you guys know who Jerma is, right? Uh, no. I don't know Jerma very well, but I know of no. him. He's like he he's a pretty good like goofy streamer, but I mean he's like pretty popular. But like mm. he pretty much got popular from like doing videos with Star back mm. in the day, and then they both like moved mm. to Twitch, and Jerma was just like way better at Twitch. Mm. But hmm. well, I guess if you guys don't I mean, know about him. We'll talk about something else. <laughs> I felt I felt that way. I felt that way when uh, Bill Words came back. Wait, who's Bill Words? History of the entire world. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. He, he made a video like a year ago that was like, I think I might quit. Mm. And then he just like disappeared for a year and Damn. then he made a new video a couple days ago. Damn. So. Oh, yeah. There was somebody I watched once who, who just quit for a year, but then they made a video of, I'm back, and then they haven't posted since. And I'm like, okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! I really, I really like uh, Bill Wirtz. I think is one of, like, musically one of the most interesting people. Yeah. To like yeah. he writes like the, all those weird little jingles mm -hmm. are so fucking weird. Yeah, I really like, like his music. It's it's unique. Yeah. 
it's like it it kind of reminds me of like jacob collier but like weirder yeah i like weird little weird little guys i knew you were gonna say weird little guys I, that's that my that's my phrase <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, my other topic to talk about is uh, uh, ten, Tensigrity. Do you guys know about Tensigrity? What? Is that a word? No. What does that, that doesn't mean? Sound like a real, that doesn't sound real. You guys don't know what ten, Tensigrity is? That's something I would say when I was blackout drunk. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I heard you say that once when you are blackout drunk. <laughs> Here, I'll show you a video about what ten, 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 Tensigrity is. Tensigrity. What? What's going on? Whoa! The, the, how is the chain standing up? Is that magnets? It's tensegrity! Tensegrity! I don't think I'm oh, saying it right. I think I get it. One of the sides is pulling down and lifting the other one. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah but it yeah, looks... It just, it just looks like the fucking chains are floating. That looks yeah. like magic. That's black. That's black sorcery. That's Tang's a gritty. It's just Legos, idiots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. It's just your Legos, dude. I need more Legos in my life. Lego speaking. I built. Oh. I built the Razor's Crest from the Mandalorian a while Damn. back, and now I just want another set to build. Wow. Dude, we've been carrying some pretty cool Lego sets at Target. Let me say. What's the coolest one? There's, there's like these, there's like this botanical collection and there's one that with like a, a bonsai tree and then there's one with like a pot of like mixed uh, flowers. They're so cool. A bonsai okay. tree? Yeah, bonsai tree. Lego bonsai tree. That sounds Lego amazing. bonsai tree. Lego bonsai tree. Oh, here, you can see, here, I'll just post this link right here. I don't, I'm not gonna <laughs> post an image, I'm gonna post this Google link. That is a terrible Lego looking bonsai link. Bonsai tree, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Google image link, you've never seen a Google image link? Yeah, that's long as fuck. <laughs> oh, you, oh, you can change it to be a cherry blossom. Oh, that's, so cute. that's a cool Lego. Yeah, they're really expensive. Oh, now that Legos are like popular and in like the public sphere, like they get like cool designers to like come up with sets. And then I think you can post them on the Lego website. And if you're like, you're deemed like a brick master or something, <laughs> then they'll like, they'll like take your Yo, set. Yo, what's your rank on yeah. Lego? Yeah, I'm, that's like what it is though. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm grinding cool. for diamond on Legos. <laughs> Lego oh, diamond. God. Dude. Okay, wait, everyone, think of something ridiculous and let's see if someone made it out of Legos. Oh, I'm gonna start God. with Joe Joe's uh, Bizarre uh, Adventure Legos. <laughs> so uh, It's just like all the characters is minifigures. It's not very exciting. There's no like giant mega build of. Oh no! no. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. It's uh, it's Jotaro and Star Platinum. Oh, it's the it's, little um. This is pretty good. Where they are. Yeah. Yeah, that's them. Pretty, that's pretty neat. That's pretty cute. Oh, here's some like uh, 3D mockups of like some uh. Uh, like Bionicle style. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Shoujo characters. Dude, bring back Bionicle. It... One of my favorite Bionicle's memes is, sick. is the crack open a cold one with the boys, and it's a fucking Bionicle container. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Bionicle is like no no cap. One of one of like the most interesting like things a. a big corporate company has done like i don't know it had Not such fun. like interesting like lore and ideas it was, it was like oddly ambitious for a fucking lego toy you're absolutely right 
they had like comics and shit too right yeah and movies co- yeah comics movies you know what the coolest bionicles were which were some of the ones i had what by wait, by by bio nickel bio nickel bio nickel yeah rakshi nathan rakshi yeah i had i think i had all the rakshi i had all the rakshi they were my favorites i love the little slug guys that you put in them yeah yo you could buy like extra canisters of the little slug guys and i had i had a few extra they were cool hell yeah oh my god okay so uh I just googled Bob Ross Lego. <laughs> look at look at this monstrosity. Yo, Bob Ross Lego. Yeah. <laughs> he looks so sad. He looks really depressed. He doesn't want to be a Lego. Yeah. Mm-mm. But like, think about how cool like my uncles could be now with like, because they were like pretty like, especially like looking at the Rakshi, like they're pretty simple. But like now with like how many people know how to do shit with Legos and Lego Technics and stuff, mm-hmm. like I'm sure they could make them look fucking sick now, you know? I think they there was a Bionicle reboot. I don't know if it's still going, but like from what I remember the designs were even more simplified and were just really ugly and really? shitty. Oh, that's stupid. Yeah. Why is Bob Ross Deadpool a thing? Bionicle's Deadpool. No, Bob Ross is Deadpool. <laughs> Bob Ross Deadpool. Deadpool. Everything is is Deadpool. Yeah. That's like a meme. Everything's Deadpool. If you type yeah. in something, Bob, but specifically what? like Deadpool, Bob Ross. Okay, but what about uh? Oh God, I see. I typed in I typed in Deadpool is Panda, and then Bob I get Ross a Deadpool lot of Funko. Oh, it's because they did teaser videos yeah. for the for the Deadpool movies as mm. with Ryan Reynolds as Bob Ross. There's even a costume for Deadpool Panda. Look at this. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's me next Halloween. Yo, please, please. <laughs> Oh, I had a really good idea for a Halloween costume that I want to do next year, I think. I want to be the 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 Warheads mascot. Mm, wait, let me look that up. I don't remember. It's just a little guy with like an exploding head, but he's, and he's like puckering his <laughs> lips. Okay. I would just like shave my head and get like a like a shit ton of cotton to make like the explosion and just like walk around puckering my lips. Yeah. Easy. Okay. Yeah. This guy. Little oh, guy. This, this oh. guy. He's got a whole suit. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna buy that costume. That's fucking sick. <laughs> Whoa. I'm gonna dress up as the lady standing next to him. Aw, couples costume. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why does she have a um why does she have like a tape measure around yeah, her? Yeah. She's <laughs> measuring his dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to get She's a measuring big, um you know cuz like you you had to be like the big dick kid in class to, you know, eat a bunch of warheads. So just imagine oh, how no. big of a cock the warheads man is himself. Oh, he even has a name. But I'm forgetting they they fucking got him, lads. Pour one out. <laughs> Yo, no. Warheads Funko Pop, Warheads Funko Pop. Oh man, I I actually bought a, a Funko Pop for the first time. No, <laughs> you're a fucking fool. <laughs> what? No, 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 Who did you cave no. for? Who did you cave for? Here you go. You ready? <gasps> No, I'm not ready. Is it Bob oh, Ross? <laughs> it's no. Bob Ross Deadpool Funko Pop. It's a gelatinous cube. Oh, oh that's, that's a kind of cool good. Pop, See, actually. that look that looks like a unique, cool figure. I mean, you can kind of tell it's Funko Pop, but yeah, yeah. This Just oddly a... has a lot more effort put in than most Funko Pops. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. One of my, I, I saw uh... that and I was like, I need this. It's cool. 
Also, okay. if I ever run a D&D campaign, I can torture my party with a really fucking big gelatinous cube. <laughs> That's fucking sick. Your party is attacked by the gelatinous cube, Funko Pop. What do you do? <sighs> Come. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um, I heard one of my coworkers tell you a story the other day in the break room that, like, so for, like, specific products, there's, like, um... There, there's ven there's like local vendors who are like in charge of a region and they go around to all the stores to like restock that thing. So there's like a Funko Pop vendor for like regions. And um, and <laughs> this guy was saying that like the Funko Pop vendor was a woman and um, there was this really weird Funko Pop obsessed dude that would like follow her to like every uh location where she would like stock so he could like buy things quickly as possible but he was just like essentially like stalking this woman and like standing by her like while she was stocking the shelves to like look at the products and like i guess people at the store like had to like like kick him out because it was just weird and creepy i'm not and, stalking and she, like, you i'm stalking the funko pops wow <laughs> and it was really so weird so he's effectively stalking her, but he didn't really care about her. He just cared about the Funko Pops. Well, I don't, I feel like it might've been both. I don't know. It sounded you... weird. I, I'm not, it was like, it sounded more creepy and weird when I heard it, like just in the lunchroom, I was like, You're not a true fuck? fan of Funko Pops unless you're willing to stock the uh, delivery. The, stock, the stalker, stalk the stalker, stalk the stalker. Yeah. Who stalks the stalkers? <laughs> Funko Pop fans. Um, good. <laughs> Who stocks the stock? Jesus. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ. What was your guys' favorite performance at the inauguration? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't um, watch it. I don't know who was, <laughs> was there. Dude, Garth Brooks? Garth Lady Brooks. Gaga? Tom yeah. Hanks. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks performed. No, he was just there. I, uh, I was like, what? Did he like act? <laughs> he did a little J puppet. Show. Did a little puppet J show. J Lo was uh, J Lo was pretty good. Oh, J Lo was there, huh? Yeah. You sent me a fucking Twitter message. J Lo sent you a Twitter message? Yes. <laughs> oh, Garrett, I've been in love with you for years. Meet me. Uh, outside your house. Okay, JLo. Sounds legit. It's just like some guy with a gun. He's looking for <laughs> Funko Pops in the alleyway. JLo, I'm just dead. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna need you to come with me. Yeah. What are you saying to me, Jenny? <laughs> oh, Jenny's JLo. That's who she is. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Uh, are we at the bottom of the show? Is we're, this the bottom uh, of the show? We are well past an hour at this point. We're, bottom, we're bottoming oh, it's out. only an hour? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we yeah, can go probably. as long as we want. There's no rules. It's kind of like an Outback <laughs> yeah. Steakhouse sort of situation. I'm pretty are sure no, there's Are there no rules at Outback Steakhouse? Steakhouse? Yeah. <laughs> Is it, isn't that their, their motto? Oh. Why the fuck? The restaurant's motto be there's no rules. How stupid does that sound? No rules. I'm just, I'm no. Just, I'm just, yeah. No, no. I'm like, just picturing Mark Rebier making like a jingle for for Outback Steakhouse. He's like Outback Steakhouse. No rules here. No rules here. Yeah, look, no, no rules. Right. Just right. That's their lo That's their thing. No, no way. rules. There's Prove no. It. I posted the picture of their thing. <laughs> no rules, just right. No rules. What like, if it's? Here's okay, one. but what if my idea of just right means there's rules? Then you okay. don't belong at the Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> is there third? Is there third tagline? I eat vagina, then I fly away. Yes, <laughs> because I've, I've heard that. Because what the fuck? Wait, who said <laughs> okay. that? That, Where no, are you? That's Mark. That's Mark Rebier, dude. Uh, oh, no yeah, rule, dude. No rules here. I eat vagina, then I fly away. Dude, Mark <laughs> Ribelier is—he's um, kind of done for me. Yeah. 
Everything Garrett's he does gun. sounds like I love That's him. He's face. a fun guy, but literally every song sounds exactly the same. <laughs> if uh... it's like, oh, I got a big fat pussy. I'm gonna <laughs> eat it. Yeah. <laughs> like that's the same I mean, shit every time. Yeah, <laughs> there is a lot of that. Yeah. Yeah. If Twitch uh, wasn't all shitty with DMCA's, I'd totally uh, listen to his live sets on there. But well, so, his actually, best maybe stuff I could do that with him. Yeah, he might probably. be safe. Like, I'll give it a rewatch sometimes. Like his yeah. old sets, just like in a fucking like at pub the Dallas, in the middle at the of the Dallas, night. Uh, the yeah, Dallas, yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that shit's that, funny. Yeah. That little brewery. Yeah. <laughs> I think the problem the problem is is that like after he got like it's like he got like more famous. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then he had to, he had to transition to only doing like online because mm, yeah. because of the of the coronavirus. And so cool, like yeah. what happens when you like become a meme sensation and then you have to like work online is that like your audience just wants you to keep spitting out the same like meme over and over so he's like trying to take requests and all the requests mm -hmm. are like lol big titty yeah. <laughs> whereas like if he's at like a venue that's a restaurant he's gonna get some like weird requests or weird suggestions yeah. that are gonna cause him to like make a really like wacky thing you know well, but yeah, it's he still really be like the same wacky thing. <laughs> he, his stuff really lends itself to being actually live. Also, I think. Yeah. yeah. Totally. Damn, I want a fucking blooming onion now. Dude, I the last time I had a blooming onion, it fucked me up. Is that Outback Steakhouse? Yeah, baby. Yeah. Bloomin' onions are so funny to me. To like, so, <laughs> like, I, I, I watch a lot of Australian people in various, <laughs> in various forms. Wait, wait, wait! I just <laughs> thought of the neuron activated monkey. <laughs> it's Nathan, <laughs> and he's and he's looking at a blooming onion. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. No, that's me. Yeah. But um. <laughs> I don't know, it, like, it's it's so funny to, like, bring up Bloomin' Onions to Australians because they don't have any idea what a Bloomin' Onion is. <laughs> I don't know. No Australian has ever heard of a Bloomin' Onion. Are there Outback Steakhouses in Australia? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was gonna what say, is... like, well, imagine if they made America Steakhouse here, but then, like, yeah, the, actually, that's every steakhouse here. It's just America yeah. Steakhouse. <laughs> well, you could, in fact, call the Outback Steakhouse an American Steakhouse. That's true. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, they Outback. don't have an Outback Steakhouse in Australia because they don't realize that, actually, it's called the American Steakhouse there. Whoa. Kind of like how McDonald's in Japan is called... Japanese McDonald's. <laughs> Is it? No. <laughs> why, why would it be called that, Nathan? <laughs> I don't know. It's just to make it's sure they know. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> why the fuck would they call it that? McDonald's. <laughs> Can I take your order? You fucking dumbass. Is it? Is it? I don't know. It could be. I, you know. And you order a Japanese Big Mac. I want the Japanese Big Mac, please. Dude, the Japanese McDonald's do pop off, though. They got, like, way more crazy food than America, because America's boring. I like I like German McDonald's simply because you can get a really giant beer in like a weird plastic oh, like damn. thing McBeef. Dude, yeah, there's some Taco McBeer. Bells in like California that you can get alcoholic beverages at, and I'm like, that sounds fucking sick. Have you ever gotten oh, yeah. a, a forty from the Pita Pit uh, in the South Hills? <laughs> No, you can get forties at the Southfield Pita Pit. What Pita Pit sells forties? I've been in that Pita Pit and they have alcohol, but I didn't yeah. see forties. Maybe I'm remembering, or I. No, I think they had forties. I yeah. think you're. I think you probably were drunk and had a forty, and then no, you went to Pita Pit. I have never <laughs> gone to Pita Pit with a forty. Okay. <laughs> is, this, is this near that? Um, is this on like? 
29 it's on, near that near that little uh what's yeah, it? it's what's a really shitty pizza um oh little little Caesar's? Caesar's. yeah right there yeah that one yeah it's by little Caesar's. Yeah. Little Cezito. By the way, that's the little that that's the shittiest Little Caesars in Spokane. Little Caesars is not good anywhere. Yeah, but that's but that's saying something because that's the <laughs> shittiest one. Okay. So but saying, that's a low tier, low tier <laughs> Little Caesars. But it's right next to one of the best zips. I love that mm. zips. That's a good zips. Good zips. Good zips. Oh, the 29th zips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever eaten at that Zips. What? Oh, it's so classic. I don't know and if it, I've been it, there actually either. Well, I feel like I've been there with you, Nathan. Maybe not. I've been to a lot of Zips, but I don't know if I've been to that one. I've been to so I've been to like nearly all Zips besides the ones in the Tri Cities, just because like I never go to the Tri Cities, <laughs> which is where it's well. from. Ah, <sighs> Zips. Ah, uh, Zips. Zips is pretty good. Yeah, they got good. How would you rate your worm zone experience? My worm zone experience today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we take yeah. a survey no. at the end. Well, okay. Yeah. So, any critiques for next? As week? we've already, as we've already established, my uh, uh -huh. my my scale, my rating scale is you know pretty harsh. Ooh, right? Yeah, that's so, fair. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave some room for improvement. Okay. Uh, okay. Because I figure I'll be back right at some point. No. So I, I, well, it depends. I don't want to. Like, I don't. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to say that we've like peaked because next mm -hmm. time it's probably going to be better, right? Oh, we've right. already peaked. I'm gonna give. <laughs> I'm gonna We're give it. I'm gonna, up, baby. I'm gonna give it a seven point six five. Hey, mm -hmm. that's and, pretty um, good. And uh, it's bad and, for uh, IGN. Well, you know, I think. I think. I think uh, it could be improved if we had some Devin. Mm. Yeah, I know. I did want Devin on too. Yeah, that's but that's okay. You know, we can't have everything in life. Yeah. And this just means that we can have a dope ass sequel. And everybody yeah. loves sequels mm. these days. Mm. All they the squeak. The squeak. We'll call it the squeak. Yeah, the squeak. Wait, wait, wait. Or we could just remake the whole podcast because people reboot. love remakes. Yeah. Just we'll... reboot the podcast. <laughs> okay. We're in zone rebirth. <laughs> <laughs> with, an, with an all female cast. Uh, instead. <laughs> what's the, what's the, the um, what's the new Ghostbusters Afterlife? Oh yeah, Worms Zone, yeah. Worms Afterlife. Zone Afterlife with yeah. Muncher. With Muncher. <laughs> uh... Well, yeah, I, I I think we're done. This was a good. This was a beefy yeah. episode. Well, that's done. a good way to tie up the whole thing. Yeah, we oh, started with Muncher. We'll end with Muncher. Much, much um, poetry. Like every, runs. much like everything I'm a part of, this episode had like way too much OCD, <laughs> like jumping around oh, yeah. all over the place. Yeah, that's. I mean, yeah. yeah. AD, yeah. Wait, yeah. did I say OCD? <laughs> I meant I meant ADHD. You know, well, it's a combo of both, honestly. Yeah. It's both. You've got it's a lot of uh, 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 diseases here. Yeah. <laughs> We're, <diseased. laughs> We're the worms writhing through the disease carcass in the gutter. Worm zone. Land yeah, of that's the... the worm zone. Um, shout, shout out yourself, Ash. Where can people find you? What are you doing? What's hot? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. I Well, I don't do anything. <laughs> but I will shout out my Twitter if you like uh, retweets of cute animals and yeah. shitty memes. True. Uh, I am at Ash Hates the Sun on Twitter. Mm. Hell yeah. I do be like that. Yeah, we'll put You're it not in streaming? I thought you were streaming sometimes. Are you not streaming? I, you know, I haven't streamed in a while. Yeah. Yeah. You know, actually, that might be a, a good topic for next time. Cause okay. I got I got a lot of I got I got a lot of thoughts on the whole streaming Twitch thing. If there and is a next Nathan time. being a streamer Twitch man might also have some thoughts. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, you play you I'm play games with us sometimes streamer. when Nathan's streaming. So you that's can... true. That's true. I'm a guest on Nathan's channel. The Nathan Show. The Nathan Show. Show. Yeah. Um. I mean, if you want some funk music, I have an album from. It's called Funkle. It's by a band named Funky Uncle. Um, that's about it. Like Stunky Uncle. Whoa. Hell yeah. They're pretty <laughs> stanky.
Stanky. Well, yeah, it was, a, it was a joy. It was a pleasure to have Ash on. Of course, we'll have you back. Of course, we'll keep on gaming. Thanks, thanks um, for having me. Please subscribe to our Patreon. Please. Like our <laughs> SoundCloud. We need money. Nathan is literally starving. He's eating tortillas. I'm eating uncooked tortillas because he has nothing to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thanks for listening, everybody. We love you. Bye. Um, goodbye. <laughs>